you do. I can't stand it. That thing you do, you do like a little skip, you go, and then you go. You go. You skip, you go. <laughs> but Sean, you try it. If you walk from there to there, you've got to then Sean, turn do round. It. And it's, it's, Look, you just do that. Well, how would you? Sean, how would you do it? You just how would you do it? You just do this. Small cog. It's not this. easy, Sean. Yeah, okay. All right, Sean, lock everyone. Sean, lock. <laughs> you don't do this. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> I've got a wobbly head. Apart from that, I think you're great. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're amazing, Jimmy. No, your views on Brexit. Easy to sort this shit out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing happening with eat the EU. <laughs> some of the lads want in, some of the lads want out. They decided it, and now they're having another vote. And I, for one, shouldn't be involved. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't make any decisions. I make stupid decisions all the time. Like, a few days ago, I decided to um, hold a wee in for so long that my legs started to shake. <laughs> I used to have a friend at school who yeah. used, to, they used to hold a pee in. Mm -hmm. And what he used to do is he used to hold the pee in, but he used to hold oh, yeah, the yeah. end of his foreskin so it'd swell up like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Is the people JB went to school with are probably trying to sort out the <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Just going, what, Article 50, watch this first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, it's a tough job. How would you know? <laughs> How would you even know what a job is? Really popular at secondary school. <laughs> <laughs> my mum like a camera phone thing. She didn't know how to use it. She thought you had to look through that to take a photo. So she'd be like, oh, first... oh, <laughs> 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 oh, Flash on first week, 50 photos of her retina. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, ad I'm addicted to Candy Crush. You know the game on the iPhone, mm. that silly game. But basically, what it does is when you run out of lives, you have to pay for lives, but I refuse to pay for lives, but you can cheat it yeah. by just moving your, your date um, and your time. You're dating your time it, along a bit. Yeah. So I do that, so I've never paid for um, a game, but I'm in 2026, mate, my diary's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> does that seriously work? You can just move yeah. that? Yeah. This is a game changer. It's literally <laughs> changed that game for me. <laughs> it's not like you to pay for something, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Controversy came out, and it's like they asked Edward Snowden's opinion. And it's just that like Edward, they're always asking Edward Snowden's opinion. It's like, <laughs> we're, we're done. okay, we get it, Edward's got an opinion, but it's like they're asking about everything. It's like, next, they'll be like, So, what do you think of Kim Kardashian? Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that said, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> 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 I asked what yeah. you thought, and you went, Sorry. I don't care what Edward Snowden yeah. thinks. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason I haven't booked him on the show. <laughs> I've got you here. I care what you think. <laughs> you think it's not passing the buck. I'm saying it's just, it's just, it's just Edward Stone. Because you always hear everyone like. Stop no, no, no. <laughs> what was your band, James? I was in a band called Pin Drop. <laughs> we had a singer uh, called, called Lloyd. And he sang real nice, beautiful vocals in band practice. And then we had a, our first gig. And he was like. Uh, you go on and perform me, and then I'll come on later on. And we're playing the song, and we don't know where he is, and then he jumped on stage in a dress, which he hadn't warned us about. <laughs> and then he just shouted, did shouty, horrible shouty vocals for the whole gig. And then afterwards, we were like, Lloyd, that was not the plan. And he was not mature about it. And he just kind of went, guys, I'm so sorry. Honestly, I don't know what came over me. It won't happen again. <laughs> and then we had another gig. <laughs> And we get them, Lloyd says to me, you guys go on. <laughs> you start playing and I'll come on later. I was like, OK, we'll do that, Lloyd. But remember what happened? He went, man, I feel so bad about that last night. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I, honestly, I feel like an idiot. I don't know what this <laughs> I was like, good. And we're playing. And then you ran on in the dress again. And then we're like, well, we didn't really tell him not to do that, so that's kind of OK. 
And then he shouted, but not just shouting for the whole gig, he kept on jumping up in the air, and every time he landed, it flipped the audience off like that. <laughs> and we said to him afterwards, Lloyd. <laughs> 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 we made it real clear not to do that, and you did it again. And it was like, listen, guys. <laughs> I owe you guys an apology. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> At next week's gig, I'm absolutely 100% not going to do that again. <laughs> and then we had a third gig. <laughs> and Lloyd went to me, you guys, start playing with that. <laughs> and then I'll come on later. And I was like... Lloyd, I'm going to say this very clearly to you. <laughs> if you shout again, you are out of this band for good, I swear <laughs> to God. And then we're playing the intro, and then he runs through the audience. It was a, a, even more of a rogue move, even for Lloyd. <laughs> he bought a different dress this time, but fair play. Hadn't, hadn't mentioned the dress. <laughs> and he also, I noticed, as he was what, running towards us, had, had drawn a dick on his forehead. <laughs> and I thought to myself, that is a bad sign. <laughs> And then he got the mic and he screamed, this, not shouting, horrible screaming. <laughs> and then halfway through the gig, he took his dress off, he's just in these tighty whities and he'd, someone had written, Susie was here, across his chest with an arrow <laughs> pointing down to his real dick. <laughs> and then after the gig... <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd... <laughs> we had made this very clear. <laughs> You're not allowed to shout anymore. And he went, hold on a second, guys, hold on a second. And then he walked over, walked outside, and then some boys turned up on a bicycle, <laughs> And all we saw through the glass was they talked to him and he, he nodded to them and we heard him say, I'm in a band called Pindrop. He got halfway through Pindrop and one of them nutted him and cycled away. <laughs> and then we couldn't kick him out of the band because we felt sorry for him. And he's still in the band to this day. <laughs> Showing me the right time. That's all I want from a clock, is that it tells me the frigging time and you want to sell it to me, you want to charge me money and you can't be bothered to go like that. <laughs> A bloody nerve trying to sell me clocks. You can't even prove it's not even. It's not a clock. If it's not the right time, it's not a clock. It's just a. a, a it's just a. Some numbers. <laughs> it's, some, it's some numbers and some sticks moving different ways. It's not a clock. So don't. Next time I come in there, mate. <laughs> I'm annoyed about that now. <laughs> Did you see that CCTV footage of, like, some armed robbers? I'd love to go into a clock shop with bad alarm and go, and go, put all those clocks right! <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it to his head, go, now the next one, now the next one! <laughs> right, I'm out of here. <laughs> OK, what, what, what's the top thing that makes British people angry? Is it football? Because I know you have a very delicate relationship with football. You love it, but it makes you so angry. It <laughs> pisses me off at the football. There's always a clock that tells you it's quarter past three, but the clock on the match says, like, 17.23, because there's 17 minutes gone, but the actual time is... And two clocks in the same room <laughs> just <laughs> kill thousands of people. It's like a bloody jeweller's. <laughs> <laughs> Have we waited till Series 16 to break out that face? <laughs> Best thing about being single? What do you think? Genuine guesses. Oh, uh, is it the amount of space you've got on your phone? Because you don't have to take 5,000 pictures of your partner with food. Yeah. <laughs> is it, um, blowjobs are still a possibility? <laughs> oh, you don't have to hear their annoying snoring voices. Noises, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, snoring. That snoring noise. Snoring. No, they make me so murdery. I want to kill everyone that snores. They make me so murdery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should stop it. I've been a little bit murdery. <laughs> My favourite German word is um, Schatzi. I mean, treasure, right? Yes, exactly. Schatzi. Danke, Schatzi. Bitte, Schatzi, Lein. Da. Schatzi means treasure. Say, I'm feeling a bit murdery, Schatzi. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a bit murdery, Schatzi. <laughs> or if you, if you want to get out of going to a party, I'm so sorry, I've done a little Schatzi. <laughs> <laughs> you work. You're quite fit when you do that. I quite like it. Yeah. I'm feeling <laughs> weirdly drawn to you right yeah. now. So. Stop with you, Danke. <laughs> <laughs> Be gay in German. <laughs> I, that's my, my issue is I can't do a German accent without sounding a little bit like oh, I'm feeling a little bit murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps that's what started it all. Perhaps none of them could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 and if you're watching this in German, it's a comedy show. <laughs> Nothing I disagree with, that 100% yeah. right. <laughs> Biggest turn off I've been on on a date is uh, M4 Junction 15. 
<laughs> Squeaks down and back up. <laughs> you, don't really, you don't really... It just looks that big, but because you're going uphill, you get to the lights and you get a lovely view of Swindon there. <laughs> and there's a drive-through Costa on the left. Lucky girl. <laughs> Give, that, give those to Sean. Give them to me. There you go. You can, you can, you know. That, but that's the traditional way to impress a woman is that you. Yeah, it's a feat of strength. It's like a. It's I like, can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> just open it. It's just oh, been yeah. opened, Sean. Yeah, it's a trick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it hasn't. I can't that's... open it. <laughs> give them to Daniel. He'll, he'll do it. You glued see. up. You've glued it up. <laughs> I haven't. You have. Why would I do? Why would I do that? It's easy. Just twist it. You just twist, <laughs> <laughs> just twist the top.